Let's go to our big three stories of the day because we've got a lot to talk about and it all starts in the Philadelphia area. Danello Cavalcanti now behind bars once again. And that leads us to what's happening in Warren County after a summer prison escapee that produced a manhunt for nine days. We're finding out what Warren County commissioners are doing to boost safety in the prison there. Plans for some expensive upgrades. We'll detail those. Plus, inflation rates, mm. they're going up. Will interest rates follow? We'll talk about the latest data that we heard today from the federal government. So as we move to the main desk, we're going to chat a little bit more about uh, these stories. And we start again, as Ethan said, out of uh, the Philadelphia area, namely Chester County. It was a day that started with an end, an end to a two week long search for a very dangerous prison escapee. That story again, garnering national attention. Uh, it had about 500 law enforcement officers working all hours of the day searching for Danilo Cavalcante. And he was captured this morning around 8 a.m. after a very active night. Pennsylvania State Police saying the convicted murderer was discovered in the grass, laying on top of a gun that he stole this week from a Pennsylvania garage. This is the second massive manhunt for a Pennsylvania prison escapee just this summer. The first one a little closer to home, Warren County, where commissioners are now accepting bids to repair and improve the prison roof after Michael Burham's escape. The request for proposal calls for the installation of a metal mesh roof, replacing the chain link fence that's there right now, along with improvements to the guard window and the installation of more razor wire to deter escapees. Commissioners say between the Burham incident and the Cavalcanti incident, safety and jail safety and security are top of mind. Well, we have.